Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm coming to you from my kitchen today, which is a little different. Just thought I'd kind of change things up a little bit. And unfortunately my diva ring just quit. So you're seeing me just as I am in my kitchen, but you know, that's okay. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, I am super excited to share this video with you because it is about one of the four ways I use to try to keep my skin pretty firm. And that way is using the new face. And I have a different way that I use the new faces. I've never really seen any other YouTuber do it like this, but it cuts the time in half, which I really, really appreciate. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things for us 50 plus beauties, and if you're a 50 plus beauty yourself, I hope you'll subscribe and join the 50 plus beauty family because we have a great time here learning ways to look and feel our best. Okay, let me get into this. And I will preface this by saying that I will link a video below that I did about a month ago and it got like almost 100,000 views. People loved it. And it was the four ways that I used to keep my skin firmer. And those ways in a nutshell were tretinoin. And I've used this for about four years. Absolutely love this. And I'll link a video below about my tretinoin use. Uh, the second way is derma rolling. And I use a 0.05 mm derma roller once a week on my face. And I have not been doing this that long, but I really do think that it is helping. And for those of you who've seen videos on derma rolling where the poor YouTuber is covered in blood and has all these little red pinpoint bleeding marks on her face, that is not how I do it. I do it very, very mildly. I do use hyaluronic acid for slip, but I hardly ever draw blood. And so that's how I'm able to do it once a week. And again, it's only a 0.05 mm derma roller. And the third way I use to firm my face, and I think this may be one of the most important things I do, and that is that I do use face yoga, which is a series of face exercises. And I'll link both my results video showing my 30 day results and also my face yoga workout that I do. I will link that for you below. And I think it's super effective at firming up the muscles of the skin. And you know, for some reason, face yoga is controversial, but nobody ever doubts that when you've got saggy tummy skin and saggy thigh skin, that if you do exercises, it pulls everything in and makes it firm and tight and younger looking again. So I don't know why they think the face would be any different because we have a ton of muscles in our face, like over a hundred, I think, and they do sag and bag over time. And so the face yoga to me just tightens up those muscles again, puts the cheekbones a little bit back in place, kind of helps lift the jowls. Now I am 62 years old and nothing I can do is going to bring back my 30 year old firm face, but I do think that all in all, the face yoga really is very instrumental in keeping my skin firmer than it would be otherwise. And the fourth thing that I use is the new face. And I've used the new face on and off for about three plus years. And just like a lot of you out there, I started using this three years ago, used it for about six months and then thought maybe it's not making any difference. I don't know why I thought that, but that's easy with the new face because the changes are very, very subtle. And so I stopped using it for a couple of months and then I was going on my way to Ulta one day and I looked in the rear view mirror and I said, oh my God, what has happened to my face? You know, what am I doing differently? Because my jowls were sagging, my face looked wrinkly and just not toned and had this gray pallor. And I realized that I quit using the new face. Oh, and here's my secret. I didn't mean to get this in here so soon, but basically what I do that is different from other YouTubers I've seen is that I do use the new face Monday through Friday morning but I use not one, but two new faces. And what this does is it's a remedy or a solution to my impatience. Because before, when I was just using one, it would take me like 15 minutes, 14, 15 minutes to do this workout all over my face. And I would sit there, I would get bored, half the time I wouldn't finish it. And so I thought, how can I make this go more quickly? And I realized I'll just use two new faces, one on each side of my face. And I've really found that since I started doing that, my new face routine is super consistent. I have been doing the new faces five mornings a week for like a year. And I really think it's making a huge difference in my face and using the two new faces and shortening the time to about five or six minutes ensures that I do the routine five days a week. And I really think it is paying off well on my face. Okay, enough of the chat. Let me show you my two new face routine. Okay, it is about six o'clock in the morning and I'm about to do my double new face routine. Normally I do it down in the exercise room 
and I'll show you that setup, which I normally use Monday through Friday. Okay, this is my exercise room, and five mornings a week I come down and I do weights, and there are my newest weights that I got just around Christmas. I use them for biceps curls, and they are adjustable, which is just great. I love that. And here is my new face setup, and I just sit there. Actually, I use that little trash can. I bring it over and I sit in front of the mirror, and I do my new face in the morning, my double new face, and I have a facer size book there. I'm really not doing facer size though specifically now. I did it for a while, but I found that my little face yoga routine was really even better than facer size. So I don't know, I should get rid of that. But anyway, this is my little setup and my husband, Alan, he's so sweet. He made me that little black platform to set it on. And I have the Foreo there because occasionally I'll try the Foreo. I need to do a a trial between the two, between the Foreo Bear and the New Faces, but I love the New Faces so much, I just have not been able to bring myself to do that. So anyway, that's my setup. Okay, but for the sake of ease, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it up here in the bathroom. I used to do it in the bathroom, but then I realized if I incorporated it with my weight routine, you know, it was a lot easier to get it accomplished. And I am just using a gel here I got from Walmart. I used to use the New Face gel, and I do like it but it is more expensive. So right now I don't have it. So I just put the gel all over my face. I need a washcloth. Here we go. It does get really messy on your fingers. Okay, and then I just have both of the new faces here and I just turn them on. You can hear that little sound. And then I just start like this. Doesn't hurt. You really almost can't feel anything. Every now and then you'll feel a little bit of a vibration. I do three passes and then I go to the middle, three passes. And this is the routine that I have worked out. It's similar to what they do online, maybe a little bit different. I added some chin work because I have these chin dimples. <laughs> and I do think the new face is helping smooth out the chin dimples. And I've had some ladies in my comment section, that was three, so I'll do three here, say that they also get chin dimples as they get older, which is really weird. And it's something I had never heard of. Yet another one of the gifts of aging. Two, three, and then at this point, so it doesn't dry too quickly, I go up to my eye brows and I do this lift. And I hold this usually about three. And this is the area of your face where you can feel a little bit of vibration. It feels a little weird. Never hurts though. I'll do one more. Great. Okay, now I'm going to go above and below the lips in the chin area to get rid of the chin dimples. Here we go. You've kind of got stereo here, so you've got to kind of wait. Or just choose one to listen to because the idea is that you make one pass before the next beat. Here we go. I'll do one more after this. I'm kind of losing count. And I'm not totally exact about this. I do three or four. And then we're going to do a hold on the cheekbones to firm up those cheekbones. Yes, now we're gonna do a sweep this way. Kind of lift the chin. Lost count there. Just feels kind of relaxing actually. And I don't do this on the weekends. I just know that when I do my weight training, I always do it. It's kind of a nice break between sets and weight training. Okay, I think that may have been a four. Then you go up here. Whoops, it's a little fast. Now, I'm going to take some of the gel and do my neck. Here we go. 
Okay, and I just take both units and just start here and go up. That was a little too fast, sorry. Here we go, try to go slow. I just get impatient. And when I was using one new face, it took me a lot longer to do the routine. Obviously it took twice as long. And so I just feel like it's more helpful. And I did that too fast. Let me do one more. The important thing is to go slowly because you want those muscles to be stimulated. Okay, now we're gonna go in to out. Here we go. Just smoothing the neck wrinkles out. One more, that's three. And I have a thyroid issue, so I don't do this lower part. I'll show you one now, so you see how it works. Just like that, that's how you do the lower area. So anyway, that is how I do my double new face routine, and it takes about five, six minutes, somewhere in there. Okay, that was a look at my double new face routine that I've been doing for about a year. And if you have things you do to firm your skin, or if you have opinions about the new face one way or the other, I hope you'll share the information in the comments section below the video. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll click that little bell because that will send you email notifications every time I post a new video. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be wonderful too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And this one is not like my other thoughts for the day. It is not about happiness or goals or anything like that. It's a super practical tip that I figured out to help keep your makeup brushes clean and be more sanitary. Okay, here is my tip. And it's actually in two parts. The first part of the tip is to apply your eye makeup first in the morning rather than your foundation. I always used to put my foundation on first and invariably I would get powder coming down or mascara problems that I would have to go in and try to figure out with a made up face how to get the mistakes off of there. Well, what I'm doing now, and it takes a little delayed gratification because it's always nice to put that foundation on because then you're doing the rest of your makeup on a beautiful looking skin. Um, but basically what I do now is I do my eye makeup first and then before I apply the foundation, I take a makeup wipe, this is just a normal makeup wipe, and I go under each eye and make sure I've gotten all that makeup off. Then I apply my foundation and my concealer. And then when I finish my makeup, I end up with two makeup brushes that are really gooky because these are the ones that I apply foundation and concealer with, and that's oily and greasy and gross. And it is kind of gross if you just leave this in your makeup stash day after day after day. And so what I do is I use the makeup wipe that I've already used under my eyes just as a final way to clean off these makeup brushes. And yes, this is not doing a super in-depth cleaning, but it is getting most of the stuff off. I'd say it gets a good 75% of the gook off of there. And that's a pretty clean makeup brush, not perfect, but pretty clean. And then I do it with the concealer brush too. And so every morning after I've done my makeup, I clean my makeup brushes off and I end up with much more sanitary makeup brushes. So I think that is a wonderful tip. First, do your eyes first. Second, keep your makeup brushes clean. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.